Hello everyone, I am Dr. Danish Salim. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic. If you do not have a pulse oximeter with you, what you can do to detect a pneumonia? A breath test video has been circulating in the social media to examine the presence of pneumonia in individuals who are COVID positive by inhaling and holding the breath to a count of 1, 2, 3 and 4 and then relaxing to exhale. The message says that if a person successfully holds his breath as in the test mentioned in the video, he can be rest assured that he is free from pneumonia. So it is a completely wrong message because of many reasons. If you are overly tensed or stressed, the test might not work and we might mistake to be a, a sign of pneumonia. Or if a person suffers from asthma or COPD, they might fail the test and worry unnecessarily of having a pneumonia. Hence, we should not believe these type of tests. The best is to check the oxygen level in the lungs with a pulse oximeter and consult a doctor if the oxygen saturation is below 94%. It is better if a normal person does this test occasionally and check for any abnormality when they contract the disease. If an individual has an oxygen level of 90 normally, then he needs to worry only when it goes below this reading. So there are several people suffering from heart disease, asthma, COPD and similar ailments whose normal range of oxygen saturation is 80 or 90. So the normal value differs from person to person. You have to find out what is normal. So when someone contracts the COVID, they must check if the oxygen level is below their normal value. Apart from this message, there is an another test being mentioned in social media which if the person is able to hold his breath for 25 seconds, his lungs are perfect and if the time duration of holding the breath is between 15 to 25 seconds, the lungs are moderately perfect and damaged if the, if the breath holding time is less than 15 seconds. So this is also completely wrong. As I said before, an individual can fail the test due to multiple reasons due to stress or ailments such as asthma, COPD, etc. So instead of these tests, we could count the numbers. For example, in between two breaths, just check how much you can breathe. So in between two inhalation, see how much you can count. So this must be done when we are normal and, and free from any ailments. So it could be 30 or 40 or 50. Suppose our normal counting ability is 50, we must cross check the same with our counting ability after we get a COVID infection or if we face any uneasiness after COVID recovery. So if the counting ability is at least 80% of the normal value, for example, here the normal was 50, so 80% of 50 is 40, then you are fine. Hence it is essential to find the normal of our body. So this is a tip that can be used in the absence of a pulse oximeter. So it is to be noted that this tip must be done gently without any stress. The best option to note down US and your family members a normal count or the oxygen saturation level before you get a COVID infection. So this will help you to compare the value when you fall sick. So share this very important information with others and save lives. We will come with another good topic soon. Take care everyone.